I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. Another week has rolled by. God has helped us along our way. And now we're gathering together all over the world, believers all over the world, gathering around the throne of freedom, by the throne of grace, worshiping the wonderful Lord Jesus. And it's our prayer that we'll worship him in spirit and in truth. And it's our prayer also that many will open their heart to the Savior today, this very day. We're reading from the Gospel of Mark today, and if you have your Bibles, I know some of you do. Some of you get all dressed up, just like you're going to church, and you're right there, your neighbors, some of you have neighbors come in, and boy, I'd like to just join you, and just, that'd just be great, and I'd just have to, wouldn't have to do anything, but just sit there, and I almost said doze, but you can't, not supposed to doze during that service, as you know. But math, Mark chapter 10 Verses 13 to 16. And they brought young children to him that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased. And he said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall receive shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. He took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. And the uh, other gospel writers include this in the, one of the passages. They said they brought the infants and the little children. And so we're going to pray especially for them today. And then every week we pray for the, uh, the persecuted church, and today we're going to, this week we're going to pray for the, our brothers and sisters in Sri Lanka. So we'll have our prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful story where you take the little children and you bless them, you put your hands on them, and you said that this is your kingdom. They're all a part of your kingdom. They're all going to go to heaven, every one. And we just thank you, Lord, that we can bring that same message to the children today. And we can preach in such a way and teach in such a way that the children can understand and they can come to Jesus. I was 10 years old, Lord, and you, and you and I understood enough to pray to you and, and you opened and it came into my heart. And uh, we just pray that multitudes will come to you today. And dear Lord, we will pray that we'll think more about the children and the babies and pray for them and support them and single mothers who have a hard time of it and give them a helping hand. And Lord, then we think about our brothers and sisters in Sri Lanka, and we know that some of them have laid down their lives. They could have lived, they could have renounced Jesus. They didn't have to die. They could have said, yes, I, I renounce him. I don't believe that he's a son of God at all. But no, they bow their heads. In that one picture, we see these three young men bowing their heads. They all have hoods on their heads and saying in Arabic, well, Jesus Christ is Lord, and they gave up their lives. That's happening right now while we're preaching, Lord, and while we're having this service. Homes are being broken up. Churches are being burned. All oh, your people are suffering, and you know, just like the children of Israel in Egypt, you said you knew all about their sufferings, and you were suffering with them. So you suffer with these people and help them to know that we are better Christians because of them. And we take heart and we are challenged also to stand up and sound off for Jesus. So bless them, everyone, dear Lord. And someday we'll see them in heaven. They'll be wearing a martyr's crown. Won't that be something? So now bless us in our service today, Lord. Just speak to hearts. We just give it to you in Jesus' name. Amen.